be using all kinds of special symbols for this class. The International Phonetic Alphabet, Old English Characters, Middle English Characters, but how do you find them and insert them into your work? You need to use the character map. Your character map is hiding inside your accessories folder. Click Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and there it is. If you right click on it, you can pin it to your Start menu. That will make it much easier to find next time. When your character map is running, make sure to check the Advanced View box. That way you can see all of your options. Now you have several ways of finding what you're looking for. You can scroll through the map just looking for what you want. Many of the characters you'll need are located near each other on the map. Or you can narrow down what you're looking at slightly by choosing a group. The characters you'll want are in the Unicode subrange Latin group. Or you can search for the character you want. You can search by Unicode number by typing the number into this box. The numbers are all listed on the handouts in materials. Or you can search by name. The character map doesn't always use the same names we use. The character map labels are listed on your handouts and materials. I'll search for the schwa. Now you see I have a choice of schwas. What you need to do is pick the schwa that you want to use. The vast majority of the time you want the small letter Latin letter form, not the capital, not a version with additional diacritic marks, not a version from a different alphabet. So here's the Latin small letter schwa. I click it, I click select, I click copy. If you want, you can click several symbols, select them here, and copy them all at once. And now I can just paste it into my box. Ta-da! That's all there is to it.